Hey YouTube, thanks for watching another video. Richard Hill with Hill Associations here. Today we are looking at WordPress plugins and specifically we're going to look at a social media plugin. Um, we all know how important social media is. Uh, social media plays a role in SEO now. Um, engagement that also benefits SEO. Everybody nearly in the world we're talking about billions of people worldwide use social media some type of form um where there's facebook twitter linkedin google plus um instagram we have all these different social media platforms so having a website that is optimized for social login social comment uh, social sharing um building that engagement so people stay on the website longer all of these are very very beneficial so today we're looking at a specific plugin it is for wordpress uh, that's the platform we're using and it's called super socializer and spelled just like this so get it installed and let's go check out some of the features once it gets installed, come down here and it'll be down here on your uh, left menu here in your WordPress dash dashboard. So the Super Socializer plugin is awesome. Um, they just recently did an update and added a bunch of more features to it. It, it was already a great plugin. Now it's even better. Um, I haven't tested this most recent version when it comes to speed. I do know, and, and maybe you know too, plugins when you add them to your website, some of them don't affect speed, why others do. This one that I know of, the older version, it did affect the speed a little bit. Nothing to be very, very concerned about. It was very minimal. Um, we used to use Shareaholic and Shareaholic uh, was a great plugin, but really, really added speed and download time really increased when we added that. So uh, we originally used Super Socializer, so now we're back to it. But uh, let's take a look. Um, what's cool about this plugin is you're not only getting social sharing, but you're also going to get a social login where they can log in to your website from various social media platforms mainly facebook twitter google plus and i think there's another one we'll have to check it out here but it also has social commenting uh you can comment on facebook you can comment on twitter and these are pretty good um if you're trying to build engagement on your website uh we know that if you're looking for SEO benefits uh, for a plugin such as this, we know that engagement, time on site, uh, those user metrics are very, very important for SEO ranking purposes. Not only, not to mention conversion and different things like that, but as far as giving them the ability to comment via social media, very, very cool. Um, so, the social commenting, um, it's very simple, it has different options down here, and it allows you to enable the social commenting on other posts, pages, which WordPress is going to be most of what you do, attachments, projects, probably not, but that's up to you. So what we have here is WordPress commenting, that was the other one that I was trying to get, Facebook we got Google Plus and actually discuss. So to enable Facebook, you would come down here, check URL the comment with, and, and you got different options that you can go through. You got Google Plus down here, and you got discuss. So no Twitter on the social commenting. So it's going to be WordPress, Facebook, Google Plus, and discuss. Now, the social login, I'm going to click there, that just enables all the different options down here, 
and for these you are going to need API keys so you're going to have to go to Facebook developers, Twitter developers, and other development pages to get your API but what's very cool is you have Facebook you have Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Instagram, Zing, and Matake. Maybe pronounce that right, but you have the more or less the most popular social media platforms where it allows users to be able to log in. So that's very very cool. Uh, you have um, you have a lot of short code options with this, but most of them you can just come over and. Uh, pick the different options of what you need and breaks down the options and these are all new we really didn't have this with the old super socializer plugin but we can enable it on the login page the registration page comment forms social avatars email and you can uh, suggest username password after registration if that would be required you also can see down here you have login and registration redirections where you can keep the same page the users logged in when they come in you can send them to the home page you can send them to uh, the dashboard here in WordPress or you can click custom URL and you can actually send them to exactly where you want and that could be very very important for you especially when somebody registers you log in and you have an offer service product or whatever it may be you can send them to that exact landing page um, email pop-up options this is also new text on email required for the pop-up so you can add this the error message uh, pop-up height um, and where you want email verification that's no I didn't know that was there but that is an option and a short code uh, just text to the short code and widget page where they talk about everything and they got some uh, different uh, short codes that can be put into your website um, that give you some functionality and features so here's where a lot of the changes came from so social media sharing we all know that, um, and we see in SEO and social media a lot of different things relate to one another, and this is no different. Uh, I've seen, I've been doing SEO for 10 years, uh, social media, ne nearly as long, and we know today, in today's SEO world, that a page can get very, very popular and the keywords on that page can rank quick if the page is popular and it's being shared among different social media platforms so being able to give your pages and your posts giving users the opportunity to share it that's that's a very important part of the process so you always want to have some social media sharing buttons and we're not talking about social buttons that's going to your Facebook page to your Twitter page to your Google Plus page we're not talking about that we're talking about giving the users the ability to easily click on the button and then giving the user the ability to share it anywhere they want to they can share it on their favorite social media platform Maybe they like Instagram, uh, maybe they like Buffer, could be Twitter, whatever it may be. You give them that option, it can easily be shared. What I like about this plugin, and, and you probably like it too, I like it when my pages get shared a lot, and it shows the actual page count. It shows it's been shared 26 times, or 100 times, 1,000 times. I like that being able to... Uh, because it kind of gives you your uh, page credibility. Um, trust factors are always important when it comes to buying. So I like that option. So we'll look at the options real quick. Um, this is the theme selection. This is your standard interface theme. So you got your Facebook button here. And it's just the social media button. 
not necessarily Facebook, just giving you an example of what it's going to look like. You can choose the shape to be round, square, or rectangle, whatever you like. And I can see right here, we can change the size, make it bigger, or we can make it smaller. We can also change the height, and, and that's both in pixels. We can add our border radius, and we can also change the logo, the background, and the border. All these are new options. Um, like I said, the plugin just updated maybe a week ago that I noticed and added a lot of cool features. More or less, this is a free plugin, but honestly, it, it could be easily a premium plugin with always new features. So, down here we have the same thing, same option. This is for the floating interface with Super Socializer. You have a horizontal bar, and this is horizontal social media. That's how your social buttons line out. And the vertical is the floating interface. That would be on the side, um, the horizontal one. That one would be in the article itself and we'll look at those options here in a second but you have a lot of different options and once you're done you can save the changes now with the standard interface and you want to see a lot of different social platforms come with this plugin and before I think they may have had 10 or 12 choices and now you literally have dozens of choices you can choose from stumble upon yummy whatsapp Badu, bookmarks digio google gmail google bookmarks kindle slash dot ulink once again wordpress instapaper biddy amazon flipboard dozens and dozens of popular social platforms that you can now add with the super socializer plugin it is literally one of the best free social media platforms available plugins rather that you can be able to use you have dozens of options and you can line these up any way that you want it's drag and drop you want your Facebook page, whatever. Check mark, and we can add all these different social platforms. And there's literally dozens of them. There's probably at least a good hundred here, probably eighty, somewhere around there. So eighty to hundred, I would think. Um, you can also add like the Facebook recommend button, the Google Plus share button buffer button pretty pretty cool um and like I said drag and drop on all the different icons so now we're going down into how we want our social media buttons to appear on our website as you can see right here remember I said horizontal and vertical that's going to be your two options this first option is your horizontal alignment and this is going to be left, center, or right. Just meaning that if you choose left, it's going to be on the left part of the page or your post in WordPress. Center, or it's going to be to the right. You have the option to add your social media buttons to the top of the page, to the bottom of the page, or you can actually add both. You can choose to put them on the home page, the post, pages, excerpts, category archives, archive pages, attachments or projects, and within every page and every post when you're doing your article and doing your content, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll have options to disable them. So if you want them to appear on the one page and not the other, all you have to go, just go to your page, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you'll be able to disable them just by clicking, just like we are right here. 
this is the cool one this is what I really liked about it um, show share counts so you can actually choose that option and new share counts and like I said it gives you more credibility it gives your article you know when somebody sees that a page has been shared two or three hundred times you know it's probably a good page people like it people sharing it you know people share it for a reason so it's always good to have your share counts with your social buttons and here's the option to show the total shares and to enable the more icon so your floating interface this is your vertical one this one would not appear in the pages in the post but redder on the side kind of like a sidebar so it would float on the sidebar and it keeps pace where if you go down the page you still see the social buttons and more or less you would enable it and you're seeing the same exact options for the vertical just like you did on the horizontal you can click whatever social media platforms that you like only difference with this one you can see that we have a background color so we can add a background color gotta have the code and you see left offset and top offset so this positions your vertical social buttons now you can have all of them enabled you can have horizontal and you can have vertical I choose just to keep with the horizontal um, not that I don't like the look of the vertical social buttons on the side of my website it's just what I prefer and you can choose to have them on the home page plus you know the exact same places um, the only difference like I said we see is the background color and the left offset top offset once again total shares total counts and down here you'll see the responsiveness um, this is to display the vertical interface only when the screen is wider than 783 pixels and the stick vertical floating interface keeping it horizontally at the bottom when the screen is narrower that way if somebody visits on mobile or iPhone or something like that it, it still looks good still responsive and the miscellaneous uh, this is a uh, short links that you can install uh, this one works with the bit dot ly url shortener for sharing which is pretty cool uh, once again you need an api key then you can choose your language twitter name and your buffer name and, and that's for uh, different sharing options and this is pretty much the uh, super socializer plugin it's very cool I, I really like it um, I use it on my website and again use it for my clients so and, and I love what they added to them I'm not associated with them I'm just a fan of the plugin um, like I said it's not terrible on um, download speed we all know speeds very very important so I like it um, pretty cool options when it comes to social media sharing I love the fact that people can come to the website and log in from their social platform whatever one they choose that's that's a pretty cool feature so hope you enjoyed it appreciate all y'all taking the time to watch my videos please like please subscribe thank y'all and I'll catch you next video